Hello, my name is James Stidley here at Full Potential Learning Academy. Today we'll be going over double negatives, how to use them properly, how not to use them, and why it's important to identify double negatives when they occur in English. Today's lecture will focus on what double negatives are and how they occur, we'll focus on when not to use double negatives, and we'll also make mention of how to use double negatives properly, and finally we'll have some practice fixing double negatives in English grammar. Double negatives, what are they? Double negatives are sentences that have two negative words in the sentence at the same time. For example, he didn't win no stinking trophy, she never goes with nobody, and he has told, never told no lies. These are all incorrect because the double negative words makes it confusing and counteracts the, per, the clear meaning of the sentence. For example, the third sentence, we don't know if he, the subject, has ever told a lie or not because never told no lies seems to suggest he has told a lie, but we don't know that. Double negatives might work in math, but they don't work in English grammar, so you'll have to correct them if you want them to be proper. Double negatives, when not to use them. When you're writing, whether it's formal or informal, you usually can't use double negatives. Otherwise, we have confusing meanings. For example, she never went with nobody is wrong in writing the terms. Because when you're reading it, it sounds confusing. And then we have the next example. She barely didn't understand. Now, barely is a word that sounds positive but can be negative, especially when you have the word didn't next to it. So watch out for having words with positive and negative connotations and using them with a negative word. Otherwise, you'll have a double negative as well. Finally, in the last sentence, this was impossible to uncross. Now, impossible and uncross have the prefixes im and un, making possible and cross negative words. When you have two prefixes that make double negatives, that's usually wrong in writing. Keep a lookout for words that have positive and negative connotations, and prefixes and suffixes that make words negative in a sentence. Double negatives, when you, you can use them. You can use double negatives in casual speech between close colleagues and friends. You can use it in casual conversation when the rules of grammar can bend a little so that way you can convey meaning to each other without having to worry about conveying the clear and total meaning. For example, uh, I say, I'm saying I won't cross no stinking bridge. Now when you say that, you're implying and saying that you won't cross a bridge. If you were writing that down, that's confusing. But if you're saying it, people can generally get the meaning without having to translate too much. But in fact, there's a lot of songs that also use double negatives as well. For example, Ain't No Rest for the Wicked is an infamous song that has its title and reprise having a double negative for style and effect. Double negatives are effective when not in writing. Simply keep in mind that double negatives work in casual speech, usually only casual speech. Here are some double negative sentences to practice on to go over what we have learned in this lecture. Simply find the double negatives and correct them in the sentences below. Feel free to pause the video now and try out the practice. Good luck! If you haven't paused the video, please do so now and try out the sentences from before. We'll be moving on in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here are our corrections to the sentences from before. In the first sentence, you have to remove the phrase, no stinking, from the sentence to have, I won't jump on the roof, and correct the double negative. In the second sentence, you have to remove the neither to have, John, has sa <clears throat> John says he has not seen Susan or Alice all day. So that way, that double negative is also 
change and correct it. In the third sentence, you have to change no one to anyone to get rid of the double negative in that sentence. And in the last sentence, you simply have to remove no how to have this theory is unproven and won't be accepted. There is a double negative there, however, this is less confusing and can be counted as grammatically correct. Don't worry if you made mistakes during this practice or got a different answer from what we have. The practice is all that matters. Anytime you hear or see a double negative in writing, you can simply change it for practice. Double negatives can be effective or ineffective depending on where and when you use them. In writing, they do not work, but in casual speech and even in song lyrics, they can work. Uh, just be sure not to let double negatives take over your sentences, and don't be afraid of double negatives in casual speech. Thanks for watching. Teach you next time.